Hello guys, and welcome back to another episode of Let's 100% Grand Theft Auto 3. Today we'll be going back to good old missions. Been doing all these side activities that have been getting me some good power-ups to use. I guess you can call them power-ups. <laughs> so, uh, first thing I'm gonna do is the phone mission. Right there. Let me go get a banshee. Pretty sure the first mission he has you do a race. So, first race in Grand Theft Auto. Coming up, hopefully. I like how this uh, banshee always seems to have rise in it. But I've had issues where the vehicles have despawned because I had them right on a cutscene. Turismo. In El Foro of the Diablos, you are new in Liberty, but already you are getting a reputation on the street. There is a streetway starting by the old school under the Callahan Bridge. Get yourself some wheels and first to all the checkpoints win the prize. Sorry, adjusting the camera slightly. Alright. Uh, our Banshee already has damage. Oh, oh, well. This is not a good start. Hopefully I can do this mission better than my driving currently. Alright, here we go. Oh, what the hell? 
Thanks a lot. An incredible time of 146 seconds. Just over two minutes. Alright, uh, that's a pretty good mission right there. Uh, whoops. Alright, let me check something. Let's do a Joey mission. Actually, no, no, no. I'm not going to do a Joey mission right now because I don't want to get further into that yet. Uh, I guess I could just uh, hop right into another phone mission. Kind of going silly way for that. what the next mission is. I know the first one's a race one, because that's... Yeah, this one. <laughs> I remember it now. I started my exotic entertainment business with nothing but this sizable contest of my leather pants. A gang of no-goods has threatened to remove my starring member if I don't pay them a cut. They threatened the wrong man, amigo. They are the witness for the ice cream. Pick up the bomb and eat their hardwood. I get the regular ice cream van on its round and lure these fools to their doom with the jingle jingle. They hide in a warehouse on Atlantic Key. Atlantic Key. Okay, so it's key. So we pick up the briefcase. It's just a briefcase. Don't worry about it. Find the ice cream van. Getting an ice cream truck. Okay, so here it is. Rather than fail the mission, when I saw that uh, ice cream truck, I immediately went to put it in the garage. So let's go over to Atlantic Keys. Keys. Well, it wasn't plural in the phone call, but I think it's plural in the text. Atlantic Keys. Oops. Standing there with a detonator. I don't know. Let's just all gather around this ice cream van. Sounds like a good idea. Feels like paint. Oh. Well, there you go. Killing people with an ice cream truck. Stating the obvious. Okay, uh... And I'm trying, I, I'm gonna try not to save as much because I trust that I can do these missions. He says, as he tries another mission, and hopefully I don't know. I think he only calls during the day. It's kinda night, so... Do another phone guy mission thing. Oh, this vehicle is 
so terrible. Trial by fire. Oh, this is the one. This is the mission that pisses. Okay. So this is the uh, mission that pisses off the Chinatown people, and this is when they'll start attacking you after you do this to them. I mean, the other rampage I did earlier, apparently they didn't care about, but this, this is serious business. So this is a lot like a rampage. So uh, I'm going to do the same technique I did, the same technique I did for the uh, other steal this vehicle. Okay, the same technique I did for the other one where I went over to that area because that's where a lot of them spawn. Just go in here. Notice it's in this pretty much in a, a very similar location to where the other one was. So we pick it up. Kill 25 triads is all it says. It gives us a little more than two minutes. Alright, so do what we did before, drive over here. And this is slightly different though, you gotta get more up front to them. So go in here, these guys will start shooting at you, you just burn them all. Okay, don't let, don't want the fire truck to spray you waste its time. Just run around. Ah, so yeah, as you can see, they do start spawning a little slowly, but I think it's because I've got to walk further over here. Alright, down to three. Down to two. We got a, almost a whole minute left, so. Alright, we're good. And that's how you do that mission. And I believe now the triads hate you. Yep, there you go. Proof that, that that's totally what happened. So now they hate you, and Portland is a little bit more dangerous. But they only have pistols. When the Mafia gets mad at you, they get shotguns. Alright, so... Now, oh, so now that I've done some of those missions, I am gonna save, and I can even heal up a little because I have a health icon. Yay! Ammo. I have tons of ammo. It's ridiculous. And those weapons. Okay, let's uh, continue with this guy's missions. Probably actually end up completing him. I'll probably do all of his missions. I don't think he has that many. Two or three left. Yeah, this is the. I think this is the mission with the van. Uh huh. 
Awesome. So we just run over here, get in this van. This is a uh, Rumpo. You can tell by the window. We gotta collect magazines. And luckily, you don't have to get out. All you gotta do is just drive through it. So you gotta collect this stuff because if you don't collect it, you will run out of time. So this mission I actually do find fun. You have to deal with traffic. You have to figure out when he turns. You gotta cut people off. That was funny what happened on the left side of the screen. I saw that, so. Already down to uh, 17, 16 seconds. And you don't want to go over speed on this hill because you do not want to flip the map. Skip that one. I know, my, my completionist self doesn't like skipping them, but sometimes you, you do not need to get all of them. You just need to keep the time up and it's easier to go around. Oh, for no. Oh, that's terrible. Okay, we recovered. Kind of. Lost a good amount of time there. And we're getting really shot up. Okay, we made it over here. We gotta go all the way to the shipyard. I already know where where he is because I've played this game before. So we keep up, hit a fire hydrant, that's cool. Cool, am I gonna be able to get there without ever having the uh, dun, dun, dun sound? Because that would be nice. So we turn it in here. you gotta do is ram into him. There you go. Uh, I believe he drops a nice weapon. But he didn't, so... Because he didn't spawn, because I just ran right into him. Yeah, so, uh... Now all we gotta do is take the vehicle. Take the vehicle back to... Triple X Mags. Not blow it up, it's pretty damaged. Some person got a free magazine because of the one, the one I missed. Actually, I think I missed it too. A couple people got free magazines. So, yeah, we just parked behind here. I don't double clef FM a lot lately. I'm kind of sorry about that. Just not noticing. Bye, Daily Spur. There you go. Uh, let's take the perennial. Alright, 
Okay, so I am going to continue. Oh, it, it is one. I am going to, uh... So I think this is how it works. I'm going to save it twice to advance the time again. Because I want to try out uh, Marty, Marty Chonk's... I want to do his missions. I want to... Pretty sure we got three left. Oh, I pulled it out and I saved, so now I don't have a vehicle if I have to reload. Whatever. Shake. You know, I tried to do, uh... Uh, El Burrow's mission, like the first one, the race one, with the perennial. Just as a challenge, you can't freaking do it. I think it's a good challenge. I think if you can get first with the perennial, then you're a really good. Really good at Grand Theft Auto driving. Does it start at 8 or something, please? I don't, I, I don't know the patterns of when this rings. Kind of silly. In that case, I'm just going to go ahead and do a Joey mission. So, Tony Cipriani. Oh, yeah, the real sweet, cheap purrs, you know what I mean? Oh, is the guy I was telling you about. I listen, this guy, he ain't Italian and he's no mechanic, but he could get things fixed. This is Pops Capo, Tony Cipriani. Hey, I'm Tony Cipriani. Take him to Mama's restaurant in St. Mark's, all right? Now listen to me. I'm planning a job that needs a good driver, so drop by sometime later, okay? All right. <laughs> okay, kid, drive me to the laundry in Chinatown first. I got a bit of business to take care of. Those washer women ain't paying their protection money. And watch the car. Joey just fixed this junk heat. So no fancy crap, okay? Okay. Yeah, sorry, I'm going to have to change the radio, though, because it's bad. Let's do a lips, if I can not pass it. Wow. Oh, don't, I don't want him to, I don't want to damage the vehicle, although I think I have, yeah. But at least he didn't say anything. That was a very long break. You see how long the break is there? Wait here. Keep the engine running. This ain't a social call. Yep, okay. Mr. Long's Long Dread. Long Dread, that's interesting. Tony Cipriani, I don't know how you say it. Tony Cipriani's visions. We got 3,000. It's a meh, you know. Oh, what's this? Now that Uzi is available in this, in, in the, uh, that's, that's, that's very much what I want. That is a very nice vehicle. Jet Black. Awesome, have a good vehicle. We're not gonna have it at all though, like for that one. Okay, let's see if he's there now. Yes, he is. 
so all this waiting and finally get to do another one of his missions. So doing three different guys' missions right now. Can you believe it? How could that have gone wrong? You steal my stuff, and I claim insurance, and I take all the money. You'll totally just give it back to me. Alright, so we leave the vehicle out here, and it shouldn't despawn. Meanwhile, we take... Actually, this is a good vehicle. It's the one time it gives you a good vehicle, and in the end it makes you, uh... It makes you get out, and then it's locked. You can't get in, so you can't keep it. Let's go and pick up the thieves. I don't even know if I can call them thieves, because... It was with his permission. I didn't really steal from him, because he was... Uh, himself okay with it. Um, that's the word you use there. Hey guys, you know you're gonna die? This guy's a psychopath. Oh yeah, I, I, I can't talk. I think I'm talking about you. This is what clogs the computer. You can't talk. Maybe you can't talk and just chooses not to. Now they uh, slowly walk in. Mission over, right? Now we gotta respray the car. Oh man. Sorry. Yep, driving to the paint spray. There we go. No, it doesn't change the color. I was wondering that. So now we bring it back to the factory. And I tried. Usually in these missions, you don't need to have it mint, but I go for getting it back mint anyway as a challenge. Alright, we just go this way the whole way. This way the whole way. No! Damn it, I... Oh, ow! I'm totally ruining everything. So we just park it right over here. We get out. And look, you can't get back in, it's locked. Alright. Guess what this means? Uh, we're gonna do another mission. The wife. This is totally a normal relationship. This is totally normal. I'm just gonna bring his wife back to him. They're gonna have a little chat. And then I'm gonna have to uh, destroy the car in some way for some reason. Everything will be fine. Classic nails. The perfect manic cure. Oh, yeah! 
that's how you take that. I'm surprised she's just like, oh, this is his driver. That's... Where did they hire this guy? Just walk right to the door. Thank you. dump the car out over into the uh, lake. You just walk into it and push it off. Awesome. So, that's another one of his uh, missions. And this means there's one left. But usually I find that it won't actually let me do that mission immediately after doing those two. Perfect timing. Perfect. I'm going to go check anyway, and if not, I'll just end the video. But if, if, he, if he is ringing in, he's going to finish off this guy. Yeah, all right, that's different. I want to keep this vehicle, so I'm going to... Probably being risky here. I don't know what time it stops ringing, but I'm going to go around the block. Because I want to keep this vehicle. I know that's not so Her lover. This is totally normal, too. Yeah, I think I'll keep agreeing to what this guy does. Transport people over here. So this time we get a stallion. Without the roof even up. Perfect station. who he owes money to. And he sounds like a geek. Okay. This uh, all adds up pretty well. Alright. So we just come right back. Oh wow, he's outside. We actually, I like to do this just for the cutscene for you guys. I keep the vehicle completely out. You can see exactly what happens. I need more time to get your mind. But if you just step into my office, it's far too late for that, Marty. You had your chance, but now I'm taking over the business. All right. Oh, I missed him. Oh, I'll get him here. There we go. We get a, uh, a single shotgun shell. And 
And that's Marty Marty Chunk's missions. And the phone guys. I think that's uh, good enough for this episode. So I'll go save. for watching.